Yo, it is Flexity, and welcome to the shadows that run alongside our car. And I seen this like a long time ago. I think Jess, I think I played this when I watched him on YouTube. I forgot a lot of things, but I remember this is, was such a beautiful ass game. And it's such a like a deep meaning, like a dark meaning to it too, like a dark twist. But I kind of forgot like everything about this game, so I guess let me go ahead and experience this for the first time, you know? You know, just sit back, get you a little bit of snacks, you know? Man, let's dive deep into the story. Whose eyes will you see the road through? Oh, hold on. You know, we always be a guy, bro. So, you know, might as well, you know, continue with it being a girl. Let me pause on that. Gun it. I lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird sitting on this side of the car. But my stomach been feeling off for a while and I just can't drive. And so I handed my keys over to the stranger. Well, what's the worst that could happen, right? I stared out the window, watching the unchanging scenery whiz by. There's an awkward silence, but I don't feel like feeling it. It's so stuffy in the car. I reached for the window control button and let, out, uh, let the window roll open. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like a zombie just gonna hurl, him hurl themselves at the moving car. Nah, I think they will hurl themselves at a fucking moving car. I think that's a fact. Well, who knows? Maybe they would. They would definitely would. Fair enough. The slight breeze feels good against my neck. But this guy looks like he wants to say something. So I guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days. But what's your name anyway? Right. We never did introduce ourselves. It's... Oh, okay. Okay, I can name her? She looks like, look like a ruby. She looks like a ruby. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I don't know why I say she look like a ruby, but like she do. Ruby. Yo, well, it's nice to officially meet you then, Ruby. Names, um, you look like a Dustin. I'm gonna keep that. Dustin. Okay. I'm gonna get a smile. Okay, that's, a, that's, that's awkward. I would've been, I would've been nervous as fuck. Okay, yeah, that, <laughs> that was awkward. He looks dissatisfied. How was he expecting me to react? It's not, it's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a Dustin. But he do look like a Dustin, bro. Like, look at his hair, bro. That's a that's a Dustin mentality. I don't know. That that shit don't make no sense. I continue staring out the window. The sky is so red. Normally, I think it was pretty, but now it's just depressing me. Yeah, they're going through like the zombies. They're going through like basically Judgment Day, pretty much. Bad things come out after dark. I remember that all all too well. I'd rather not think about that. So I decided to break the silence after all. So what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh, he looks surprised. I guess I haven't been talking much since we met. Maybe I should. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I know, you know, this and that. I never really settled into one thing in particular. What does that mean? That was weird. Whatever. That was weird. Ah, uh, shit! I got choices. I forgot I had choices in this game. Uh, uh, that was weird. I guess. He doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. I wonder if it, or what his job really was. Maybe, maybe he was a trash collector. He does look kind of dirty. Damn, you're gonna roast him like that? I mean, he, we're in apocalypse. Of course, this dude would look, be looking dirty. But I shouldn't be rude. I'm not much of a catch myself. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mm, yeah. Well, it's really my dad's car, or was. Or rest in peace. Damn. Even when he was alive, though. I was the only one who ever drove it. After my dad got that third DUI, his license was revoked. Damn. He used to he used that as an excuse to never leave the house, so he, he became a lazy ass procrastinator. I felt that. It was just as well, anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget and forget where. What type of carelessness is that? You lazy, lazy if you do that shit. Hello, yo, your father lazy. You get your uh, shit. Uh, I guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. I'm feeling surprised, surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm on the outside looking in. I wonder if I'm really that call callous? I don't even know what that word is. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more perspective. It's okay, the booze would have killed him eventually anyway. Damn, he was an alcoholic. I knew he, yeah, he sounded like an alcoholic. Shit. I mean, it looks like he procrastinated all your life as a kid, probably. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Okay, I, I only need to use the mouse in here. Yeah, take a hand already. I mean, God, leave, bro. Why you gotta be a dick? Supposedly, not much noise at the end of the world. Damn. Still. 
Do you think there's any radio stations left? I mean, the classic, the classics is probably still there. I don't know. I'd be pretty shocked if so. Probably the classics. I reckon it could have hurt to look though. Okay. I mean, make a noise. You, a zombie might hurl. You know. I reach toward the console to turn the radio dial in one direction. Okay. Did we get something? Did we get something? No, there's nothing but static. Sometimes metallic screeching. Come on, you know, we need some music. We need some jams. Great. Hang on a second. Go back down. Oh wait, we might found something. Hold up. Hmm? What did I? What did he hear exactly? There couldn't really be something there, could there? Yeah, maybe there is. Who knows? Well, let's see. Come on. I slowly rotated the knob back the other way. Wait. Wait. Hold up. There it is. I think. Wait, I hear- Oh, I knew it's the fucking classics, okay. Yes, sir, it's the freaking classics. They always, they always play it 24-7. With no ads, too. Is that Marachi? Oh, oh my god. It probably is, isn't it? It is. At the end of the world, it, the classics lives. The classics always live on. That's crazy. Oh my god, I cannot believe. Yo, yo. Yo, out of all the music that could be playing. This is what we get, so gotta leave, bro. Look, like they all, they all happy and such. What am I thinking? Of course it is, yo. Okay, they're both smiling. You know, this is kind of a bop, though. Come on, just you know. Of course, we're on a highway to hell in the dark, and Machi is the only music available to us. Gotta leave, bro. You know, this is just dance, you know. Just dance, bro. Yeah, you know, the combination of Spanish vocals and horns on the track are completely ridiculous right now. It's, it's yeah, it reminds me of Tom and Jerry type shit, you know. I'm actually dying. Yes, you know, life knows how to tell jokes. The duet tones of this fabulous man are actually killing me. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Not, I mean, I was kind of expecting that too. Who the hell? Uh, who the hell runs this? I don't know who's alive running this shit. Of all the music that will be left, we get we get this classics, bro, man. It takes me a minute to settle down, but then what happened? Wait, isn't this the same song again? Oh, it's playing, it's playing on the loop? Uh, it's probably in an endless loop because why wouldn't it be, you know? That's true. That's true. Typical. <laughs> yeah, sure it seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all, yep. The ghost has hijacked the whole radio system. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. Yes, that's true. I mean, they dead jing, get it? That's trash. What do, what, do, what do you think zombies have been listening to? Metal? Yep, exactly. Death metal. Too obvious of an answer? Yep, 100%. Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all into baby metal these days. Baby metal, I gotta check that out. I don't know. I think the Grateful De Undead seems more... Yeah, that's true. You know, I've always wondered this. But what are they grateful for exactly? I don't... What's great? What zombies grateful for? Eating? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace? I mean, we shut we- Peace, huh? I wish they'd let us- I mean, let the rest of us have some. 100%. And it's so bad right now, anyway. Okay. Well, except for that. Except for what? Oh, he gestured toward the console. 101.7. It's now an infinite loop. Marachi radio station, yup. <laughs> okay, this dude got, got some jokes. So, what are you into, anyway? These guys, I really like Atlantis more more set. I don't even know. Top 40 hits, that sort of thing. Okay. Not like I had a lot of free time to explore my musical taste or anything. Why? I'm interested. You? And don't don't tell me it's baby metal. Is it baby metal? With your judge? Oh wait, will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? Mm, wow. No, that might be great. Uh, that, might be <laughs> that might be for the best. Yeah. He doesn't have to know that I un ironically like baby metal. Okay, what do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but what is it? I'm curious. I was thinking about I was thinking of Marley. I was thinking of Marley, some history shit. Well, you probably actually judge me more for this. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see, yo, try me. Yeah, try me. Let's go, try me. What is it? Abba. Abba, I don't, I don't even know what is Abba, bro. I gotta search, I gotta search up these genres. I'm sleeping on these. Oh my god, I can't keep a straight face. 
She better laugh. Yo, she's laughing. There you go. Yo. <laughs> Yo, there she go. I lose it. Everything is just too much. You look at look at his face, bro. He, you know he blushed a little bit. He looks kind of sullen. I'm sorry, Justin, but that's not uh, but not sorry. Got to leave, bro. Told ya. No, no, it's fine. Their music's catchy. I do, uh, yeah, I do need to check it out. I managed to get these words out. All this laughing is making me making my stomach hurt more. Damn it! What's happening to your stomach, though? Are you pregnant? Huh? I mean, my parents listen to Abba, but it's fine. Your parents, yeesh. She called your old head? Golly. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Atlantis. Atlantis? I don't know. How old do you think I am? Uh, probably your 20s. You gotta be in your 20s. 25. I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. And I'm pretty sure that that's the case too. Except for that one. Yep. Golly, bro. I'm 22. Oh, I was close. I knew I was in the 20s. Hey, I'm 22 too. Hey. What kind of reaction is that? How old is you? No, whoa, you look so young or anything like that? Yeah, how old is Dustin though? I wonder how old Dustin is anyway. Yeah, ask him. This music is kind of similar to Abba, isn't it? All uh, peppy and stuff? You should be happy. To, you should be happy to have it. I mean, that's sure and optimistic to take on. <laughs> yeah, true. Alright, enough of you. Yeah, he stopped the music. Golly. He purposely reaches over there and shuts the radio. Okay. Uh, he's got a surprisingly immature side of him too. I mean, you try, you try to, you try to hit, you try to hit on him. What's up? Did you ever expect things to end up this way? What? Where did that come from all of a sudden? I mean, we got to think deep, you know. In this situation, I pause, change the subject. Nah, take it all in, take it all in. Why do you have to ruin a mood like that? Hmm? It's getting dark, huh? See, she's changed the subject anyways. The sunset, wait, the sunset's so late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the street lights at all. Oh, this is all street lights? Oh, yo, you YOLO in the drive, huh? It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Golly. Looks a bit like a dying fire. What? Damn, okay, depressing? That sounds kind of morbid, but. Kind of fitting for the end of the world, pretty much, yeah. Damn. Yo, I hope, yo, my fingers crossed that we don't get like zombie apocalypse. The silence again for a little while, but it doesn't last. So you never really told me what it is that you do. Yeah, what is it? I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well, hmm. Yeah, what, what it is that you do specifically? What do you like? Yeah, what do you... What do you like to do, or what did you do before everything else? Yeah, before everything. Like to do, huh? I turn my eyes to the window as I think of my life. Think of my life. Actually, I worked a lot. Same. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, and rinse and repeat, right? Have lunch break, go back to work, yep. They go home, sleep, and then rinse and repeat. Get up work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then it's all over again. And then the whole thing will start over and over again. Yup, in the morning. Golly, yeah, I relate to that shit 100%. That was about it. That's depressing though. And after leading, su leading such a boring life, I ended up here. I'm probably not even gonna go out with a bang. Damn. That's depressing, bro. My death's gonna be just like, just as dull as my life. That's why I don't, yo, don't waste your time on, you know, have fun. I guess that'll be more, uh, that'll be most people's. It's tough out there. What's tough? Probably tougher now. True. But that, you need, you need your free time 100%. Uh, all kind of pointless at the end, isn't it? Shit. You work so damn, you work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. True. And just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? That's why, that's a message. That's a message. You gotta, you gotta spend your time, bro. That's, just, that's a message. 100%. That's a message, bro. That's a message. You know, don't waste your time doing work, you know? If you want, if you want your days off, spend your days off, bro. Like, you know? But, you know, if you want, if you want to grind for something, go ahead and grind for it. But, you know, sometimes you need, sometimes you need those free days, you know? Free days to just 
wall around, just be you, you know, just chill, have some fun, have some fun with life, bro, you know, it doesn't have to be all types of stressful, all types of hard work, you can have your free moments, bro, free moments is good for the breather, it's good to just sit back, relax, self-reflect and everything, you know, you need those moments, cherish those moments, don't just keep going, it'd be like a, a mindless being, like a mindless robot, just, you know, going on either pilot or such, Go ahead and do you and just, you know, have your fun moments, bro. Cherish some shits. Be grateful for them shits, bro. 100%. That's exactly how I feel about it, too. Mm. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to relate to him. You know? You can relate You can relate to even a killer, bro. 100%. I mean, I mean that's, that's a horrible analogy, but yeah. You know? But I guess that doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person, they just eat you. Yep, 100%. We're all gonna die anyway. Nah, we're gonna survive this shit, 100%. We're gonna survive the zombie apocalypse, get you optimistic. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA, true. <laughs> I used to travel a lot, okay. Oh, you look like a traveler too, I was gonna say. I used to, oh yeah. Looking for, uh, looking for work and stuff, okay. I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad, okay. Did he backpack across Europe or something? I mean, possibly to look for work? He's trying to look for the job that he can survive on. What does nomad be in this context? Just a person that just travels and just experiences. That sounds really cliche. Not really. It sort of suits you, okay. Aww. She's smiling. To tell you the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. Yo, that, the feeling of stagnant, you know? The feeling of stagnant, bro. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Mm. That's stagnant, you know? Got to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation for, from life. Wow. Suicide? I guess I got my wish, didn't I? That's depressing. Bro, I used to wish to for that too. Wow, look at his face too. All his memories flashing back. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be responsible for my for dad anymore. And now I'm not. But I can't say whether that's a good thing or, or not. Damn. Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, it goes to, you gotta be careful what you wish for. Yeah, to, yeah monkey's fall. My stomach starts to throb painfully. I look down and press my hand against it. Wait, wait, what's wrong with your stomach? It felt okay for a while, but oh yeah, a while there, but it's acting up again. Golly. God, why did why did all all this have to happen? Wait, is she infected? Still feeling nauseous? Is she infected right now? Oh wait, I think she's infected, bro. Damn, I shouldn't be so obvious about it. I think she got bit, bro. I don't want to cause any trouble. Yeah, I think she got bit, bro. Wow. This might be causing even more trouble, though. Just not say anything. It, it is. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a, a little bit better, but it still hurts. Anyway, I move my hand from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand there will make it, the pain go away. Mm. That's sad. In a way, as long as I feel that pain, I know I'm still alive. Damn. I even know what to say about that. That was morbid as hell. What's wrong with me? That yeah, that's that was morbid as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I think we should stop and rest. Wait, you think we should stop and rest? Nah, we gotta keep going. I glanced at the fuel on the on the dashboard, nervous. Wait, we about to we about to lose gas? We really have one four for the tank left as it is. No, we dead ass about to lose gas, bro. He said, like it or not, we're stopping soon anyway. Golly, we about to run out of gas. Break it with just waste gas. To be honest with you, on what it is then. I'm trying to ignore my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless road stretching out ahead of us. Yeah, I didn't pass no gas stations or nothing like that. It really hurts now. Wow. I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. She dying. And that's saying a lot considering what I've what I have 
Wait, what I have to go through every month? Dealing with an alcoholic father, just working your ass off. Say, I deserve this, don't I? No, you don't. I should have felt bad about it. No, you don't deserve this at all. You don't deserve this. I brought it on myself. You... Do you ever wonder? Like, why us? Why do we make it this far? Bro, it's... It's because we pushed hard. We had a purpose. We believe we had a little bit of hope. Is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? Wow. For the moment I swung that baseball bat, I sealed my own fate. Huh? Wait, who? Just as I started to sink into reality, dark thoughts, I heard Dustin's voice. Wow, swung that baseball bat at who? Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stopped to wonder what my own life was worth, I... You would get to a... You get to the... Yup. It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that, 100%. 100%. We're here, and that's what matters. Yo, that's facts. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. Exactly. The how and the why is just garnish on the salad. Yo, clap it up, bro. You know, I didn't believe that at first. Well, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we, are, we were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple of months I just kept working, kept on like everything was fine. And then, and then I kind of ignore it anymore. The pain and the suffering, it just, yep. And then dad, how do I even begin to explain? Mm. So you, did your dad get affected? Listen, you don't get to answer me if you don't want, but... Yo, old man. What happened? Mm, my dad? Yeah, what happened to him? I killed him. Wow. I smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and then ran like hell. What the freak? Huh. So, he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. Mm. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wanted off to another one. It just so happened that that part of the town was invested, and he got bit. Wow. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. Wow. He was still, he was acting like a zombie, but his drunk a hold you know, ways is similar to a zombie. Does it count as murder if you kill a zombie? I don't think so. Does it count as murder if you Never get arrested because your town's entire police force is now in dead? Damn. I don't know. It doesn't count. That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And so am I. You're not pathetic, bro. And at the end, I won't be doing much better. Did, did, did your dad beat you? I mean, did your dad bit you? My stomach is burning with pain now and guilt. I sat out the window seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there? Her dad bit her, didn't he? But she swung the bat. Well, now she got bit, then she swung the bat. Though that hasn't changed since way before, I guess. Damn. Even your dad rock. Ooh, hey. Oh, Dustin! I feel a sudden warm from the top of my hand. Hesitant at first, but then steady. Wow, Dustin, bro. Dustin's hands envelop mine, and I feel comfort, safe. We're still here, just remember that. <laughs> Until that changes, there's still time, yes sir. Things might never get any better. I'd be stupid to assume they would. Mm. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. Yes sir! Yes sir, while we're still breathing, there's hope. Pain, pain, that's pretty cheesy, isn't it, huh? You know, as long as we're still breathing, that's still hope. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get, uh, even if you get um, on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. True. Wow, where do I even start? Yo, be honest. Be honest. Be open. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Dustin. Be honest. Or open up. Be honest with yourself. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. Nice. Nice. Somehow. 
Mouth opens and all is well, on its own, and words spill out. Honestly, I felt relieved when he died. Mm. And then I felt awful for feeling relieved. Mm. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him, and then he really, he didn't he didn't you know I didn't at the end of it all I just felt free. Mm. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling of freedom for long. I she got bit. It makes me feel like a monster to admit all of this was someone else. It really does. But that's the truth. Be open, be open. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. Facts. He's right. I know that I'm only human. I'm not a monster. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, she's a zombie. Damn. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long time. Oh, he's been alone through the travels, yeah. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. There gotta be. There gotta be, bro. There gotta be. I wonder if they're stuck out here like this. We will really find out. We gotta go to them, bro. Wonder if we will ever know. We just gotta keep going and keep surviving. Dust and I. What? I can't go on like this. Just keep keeping it to myself. Hey, Dustin. There's something I need to tell you. I touched my stomach with pain, with uh, with the palm of my hand. Shit, yeah, she's affected. The searing pain reminds me that I'm no longer entirely human. Yeah. Damn, it fucking sucks, bro. I gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. He bit you. I should have said something before. Mm hmm. I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. I didn't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could. And then he bit me in the stomach as a party gift. I see crumb to the ground. Wow, what a f wow. Even in death, dad still found some way to screw me over 100%. Wow, that's so. That's sad, bro. What the fuck? Hey, stop. It's okay. I always blame dad for mom leaving us. That's crazy. He was selfish. He was an asshole. He was this. He was that. But just look at me. I put Dustin's life in danger. I lied to him since the day we met. Damn, bro. I'm, I'm my father's... No, you're not. You're not your father's daughter. No, sir, you're not your father's daughter. You're much more than that. Just keep calm, alright? We don't even know how this all works, so... All he knows. Maybe there's a way. He, I think he knows. I think he knows now. I'm so, so sorry. Does it hurt? Yeah, he knows. He knows. Not as much as I expected it to. Yeah, he knows she's a She's turning. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure if that, w that has anything to do with being bitten. Yeah. If it wasn't for this, I looked down at my stomach. She was free, but she's not free. I might think I just imagined it. I wish I wish I was dreaming right now. I wish this wasn't reality. Yeah, I wish I wish I wish it wasn't the way that it happened, bro. I wish I was dead. Wow. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes, true. But she just don't wanna she just don't want you to put to put you in danger. Monkey's paw, right? Aw, oh, this shit is adorable. I guess sitting in a, in a car beats having customers or my manager yelling at me. That's true. Silver lining. Yo, retail, yo. Retail is a bitch, yo. Yo, almost as bad as zombies. That's what I'm saying. Retail, yo. I hate retail. War is probably shit. Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. Yeah, I don't think she should sleep. We're probably going to be in a row for a while. Nah, yo. Tell him. She's going to turn in the car, bro. Well, a rest does sound nice. 
I always had to get up so early for work. I'm not used to being up like uh, up this late. I'm starting to feel really sleepy. Oh my gosh, she's dying. Yeah, you're right. Will you will you make it? Uh, will you make up if anything happens? Will you uh, wake me up if anything happens? There we go. My mind flashes to the baseball this baseball bat is still in my trunk. It's still in her trunk. I no, I won't think about it. I won't think about that right now. Of course. And hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Well, I just said we just gotta keep on going and keep on traveling. Um, better than back there, at any rate. Facts. Yeah, there there'll even be stations that play both. You know, both of the songs, bro. Maybe I've been running ever since mom left. I've never looked back. Just kept going. It was all I could do from falling apart. Dustin and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten far, farther than I ever thought possible. Hmm. I've noticed that the fuel gauge light is, is on, but I feel strangely at peace. The car is about to stop. I close my eyes, smiling as my consciousness already starts to drift. Yeah, she's dying. Wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we lived the proof. Wait, the proof of that will remain no matter what. That's true. But now let's just keep going forward. Wow, we don't even know. Wow, we don't even know if, if Dustin survived. Or if they just died together. Wow, I just wanted to know. But she's, but like, I guess. I mean, I guess you could make an assumption that, like, he said, you know, he'll, like, he'll stay in the car and just wake her up, if anything. Bro. Hopefully, hopefully he survived. I mean, she's buckled up. She's buckled up right now in the seatbelt. So maybe, maybe, maybe he have a chance to survive that. But who knows, bro. But I wish, like, I wish she wasn't bit. I wish she had, like, a, like a, I wish she used her free time, like, more to herself. I wish she didn't feel, like, so caged up with the alcoholic father that didn't really move and didn't do anything with his life. You know, like, bro, if you're dealing with, like, an alcoholic father, you gotta take care of him. Or, like, a mother or a friend. Like, don't trap yourself on that. Like, you don't, you don't deserve that pain and torment, bro. Like, if they don't want to move, it's their choice. Like, just move with yourself. Move with your life. Don't let your life, don't let your life be trapped or be, like, you know, just not, like, standing there or just not, like, not able to move. Not from your will, but from another person's, like, another person's choices. You know, make your own choices. Get out of there, bro. It's not your fault that they're in that predicament. They don't want to get out of their circumstances. It's not you. You don't have to trap yourself and just be stuck there. Just take care of somebody that doesn't want to take care of themselves. You know, and this will also inspire you to not even be that person to not take care of themselves or use alcoholic or any type of to any type of substance, you know, to just numb the pain. The pain will never go away. You just got to go ahead and try to solve that shit on your own. You know, the pain will only go if you like, you know, let it go. If you just let it go and just keep continue with moving, bro. You know, time and life move. That shit will happen in the past, bro. Like, forgive and let go. Forgive and let go, bro. 100% forgive and let go. It's a new chapter. It's a new time to make memories. It's a new time for just a renew of yourself, bro. You know? And I always ask this question. Be like, you know, with the circumstances, like, you're just sitting on death row for 24 hours. You got 24 hours to live. Like, are you satisfied with the life that you lived? Like, are you really satisfied with the life that you lived, bro? If you if you say no, you're not satisfied with the life you live, like, like, the life that you live right now, then you gotta work towards on, you know, making it like, you know, making that answer turn into a yes to the no. You know? You gotta you gotta take out what you know, take out what's bothering you in life. And you gotta work towards, you know, having that discipline to go strive towards what you deserve. Cause you truly deserve that. You truly deserve uh blessings and after everlasting peace. You know? Well hundred percent I believe that each and every person deserves that. No cap. But anyway, this is Puck City. If you like the video, smash the like button to leave pieces, bro. I had fun playing this. This is very, very, very beautiful. Very, very much a beautiful, uh, beautiful game. And I, I wish also that, you know, 
Ruby and Destin. Yo, they, yo, if, if it wasn't for her getting bit, they would have been together. They would have 100% been together, bro. Uh, no cap. They would have they 100% been together, bro. But anyway, your boy is out. Hope you had a wonderful day, bro. And I, y'all. Uh, deuces, bro. Peace.